Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another one pager video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a page by an artist named Mathieu Bonhomme. I had to actually look up on YouTube how to uh, pronounce that name. <laughs> but uh, he's another French guy. Great artist. This is from a comic called Empress Charlotte. I had read it uh, probably last year. And I read it all in one sitting. And when I was done, I felt like I was I just watched a movie or something like that. Um, the drama and the storytelling came to life very strongly in my mind. And so I picked this page as a example to hopefully show um, how strong his visual storytelling is. So uh, like always, let's jump into it a little bit. People say that acting only happens on the screen or on stage. Um, I don't know if anyone ever really says that, but uh, if anyone did say that, I would say, well, acting can happen on the comic book page as well. Um, and I feel like this is a good example of that. Uh, for instance, there's two characters having a moment here on this page. And one character, we never actually see his face. His back is turned the whole time, yet we can see very clearly um, how he's feeling. Uh, he's super uh, withdrawn, perhaps angry, um, and we don't have to see his facial expressions. Primarily, we read and understand how people are feeling by looking at their facial expressions. And when we're drawing comics, it's a very clear way to show what a character is feeling by giving them different facial expressions. But we can't forget, too, that the body is there as well. The body language is there to communicate and enhance what the character is feeling in addition to just the facial expressions. And in this panel right here in particular, um, neither one of the characters' faces are even shown. Uh, this is mostly drawn in silhouette over here. Both of their backs are to the reader, and yet we can see what kind of a scene this is uh, without the use of showing any kind of uh, facial expressions. I feel like that's a really strong sign of some great visual storytelling. Uh, this panel as well right here, there's no facial expressions from either character. You're really just reading that emotion based on uh, the body language and the gestures of the hand. Uh, to me, that's stuff that I really try and remember for my own storytelling when I'm working on my comics to incorporate more of that and to utilize things like lighting and body language and angles as a way to also show uh, the emotion of a scene rather than just relying only on uh, what the character's face is saying. Speaking of lighting, uh, the artist sets this scene that's already very dramatic. Uh, he sets it right by candlelight, which creates this um, enhanced, dr overly dramatic lighting, which helps um, just further carry the emotion of this scene, which uh, I think is a really smart decision. I love this big cast shadow on this figure over here, and then this, this ending scene right here with all that beautiful lighting happening, super dramatic, fading to dark on the left-hand side. Uh, just really well done. Um, I don't know much about this artist's other comics. This is the only uh, comic of his that I've read, but I, like I said, I was super impressed by it. I also follow him on Instagram, and I'll leave a link down below where, um, if you're interested, you can check out his stuff. Uh, it seems as though he works uh, in a slightly different style on every book, which I find to be really interesting. I think that's kind of the beauty of comics, where depending on the story, you can sort of alter your style to um, enhance that story as you see fit. Also, from what I can tell, uh, it seems as though he works traditionally, too. Uh, he's a contemporary artist, and he works uh, with uh, traditional tools. So this is just ink on paper, and then um, I, I would imagine this was colored digitally. But on Instagram, and if you Google him or watch some uh, YouTube videos, you can see that he's working with traditional tools. I would love to see what a page like this of his looks like in person, uh, what the original art looks like. Um, we talked about 
panel placement and how many panels on a page in a previous video. And uh, if you see this one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight panels on this page, which, you know, I think like anything above five panels can have the potential to start getting really crammed. Um, but when an artist is able to make eight or more panels work on a page without you even really noticing it, um, that's just a testament to the way they compose a page and also the way they utilize the space within each panel. None of these feel crammed. Um, again, this is sort of like the European format where it's a little bit wider. So there is a, a little bit more space that he's working with. Um, and that that wideness, even if it's just slightly wider than an American comic, it lends itself to um, almost that like cinematic feel because each shot has almost like a widescreen uh, kind of composition to it. But yeah, like I said, I would love to see this stuff in person. Uh, the originals probably look beautiful. The brush lines here are so nice. Uh, the inking is great. Um, also, just going back to the storytelling, obviously there's dialogue happening here, but this is one of those things where even if you were to take the dialogue out of the scene, I think most of us, if not all of us, can uh, kind of tell what's happening in this on this page and what kind of uh, emotion and drama is, is being displayed. Uh, neither one of these characters look like uh, they're having a good time. <laughs> so um, that's like a really important part as well of, you know, visual storytelling is to be able to uh, make it work even without the words. Obviously, the, the dialogue and the narration is going to give a level of detail that only r the written word can... Um, can give, but uh, if you could get the gist and the basic storytelling and the basic emotion of the page without having to even read it, then I feel like the comic artist really did their job. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave some links down below um, if you're interested in checking out this book or any of his other books. I'll leave a few links where you could get that. I'll try to remember to add his uh, Instagram as well because uh, this guy is super, super talented and um, cool. As always, if you have any comments about this or questions, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions about other artists you'd like me to cover in these like one-page videos I've been making, do that as well. I'd love to. Um, I'd love to hear any of those suggestions. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.